Hello, this is Aruna Chakirala, a Solutions Architect at Infoblox. In this video, we'll talk about the Infoblox Tide integration with Microsoft Windows 2016. We'll start off with a quick introduction followed by the prerequisites along with the setup, the task runs, and finally the utilities. Infoblox Tide is an offering from ATC. ATC stands for Active Trust Cloud and Tide is an acronym for Threat Intelligence Data Exchange. Tide is essentially a set of curated threat feeds which enables threat prioritization and hence leads to a faster threat remediation. Microsoft Windows 2016 has the added ability of DNS policies and these serve as a first line of response and provide the ability of custom responses. A combination of the two along with DNS 2016 and ATC Tide gives you the ability to filter out recognized threats. Let's look at the implementation of this integration. So we have a PowerShell script which is installed on the Windows server which has the DNS on it and this script runs as scheduled tasks and pulls in the feeds, the thread feeds from Active Trust Cloud and applies it onto the local DNS server. That's the whole implementation of the this integration and let's look at the demo of how the whole setup can be done and the runs, the actual task runs. The first step is to ensure that the DNS service is up and running. Uh, check the server manager and ensure that the status of the DNS service is running. The next thing to do is um, download the um, zip file, the Infoblox type zip file from the community site. So once that is done, unzip the file and you will see um, a set of scripts and configuration files as part of the uh, zip file. The next thing to do is um, update the Infoblox tied configuration file and this is where you change the um, key value and change it to the actual API key that you get from the CSP portal um, the Active Trust CSP portal. So use the value that you get from the Tide um, portal and use it, um, replace this value default with the actual value of the key. So once that is done, you can uh, do the actual setup. So the next step here is to run the actual setup. And if you see the setup uh, PowerShell script is right here. So use the script and run it and with this the tasks are scheduled onto the Windows 2016 host. The next thing to do here is to ensure that the two tasks along with the log, log task has been actually scheduled. So for this I can look at the scheduled task, the task set scheduler and I'll see that um, the tasks have been scheduled and set to run at specific times. So as part of this, um, one of them runs as in an incremental mode. The Infoblox tide runs in an incre incremental mode while the reset task runs um, less periodically and does a full reset of all the DNS policies. So these are the two tasks which are started as part of the um, uh, scheduler, the setup. The next thing to look at is the event viewer because this gives us uh, a log line and information on uh, the Infoblox tied API process and uh, it lists up. So uh, when the task starts, it gives an message that it has started. Similarly, um, st uh, end of task is denoted by a completed a complete of the run. So 
So at the end of the uh, run of the scheduled task, uh, basically the scheduled task in the incremental mode, we can see that a few of the thread feeds have been downloaded essentially for the past couple of hours depending on how long it has been running and it will pull those thread fields and apply it on the local DNS server. Uh, so when we quickly look at all the DNS policies applied through the InfoBlox uh, script, you can see um, a list of the policies that have been applied recently. So I, I will not get into the details of this particular utility which comes as part of the uh, package uh, we will talk about it in a little while but for now this what it shows you is all the DNS policies applied on the local DNS server so this is the list of all the DNS policies and each of these policy in turn has a list of all the domain IDs the thread feeds the indicators of compromise which have been pulled from uh, the uh, active trust cloud uh, through the tide API. So this is the incremental run and after a while um, the reset run also occurs. So what the reset run does is it will um, run at a specific time most of the time scheduled for off-peak hours when the traffic is a little lesser. Um, the That task will pull in all the thread feeds for say the last 30 days and update it on the DNS server and um, remove any old policies that were lying around. So it's a clean start for a DNS server after the d reset run. So we can look at what the reset run shows us um, at the end of uh, the task basically. The start of the reset run is signified by a similar message in the event viewer and with that the reset um, task starts and you can see that it will pull in all the DNS policies from the site so it will be running for quite a while and at the end of it the entire list of policies for say the past 30 days are uh, downloaded and applied on the local DNS server. So this is the run of the two, uh, two types of scheduled tasks, the incremental and the reset mode. Now let's look at the utility tools that come along with the package. The one tool that we have here is the get DNS tool. Now what this gives us is a mechanism to do a number of things like a plain run of the command uh, shows us a list of all the DNS policies that were applied by the InfoBlox uh, task, mm, uh, all the um, active task, uh, active policies basically. So there are a few other modes which we can use the tool. So one of them is show, show all and a few other things like that. So let's first look at what show does. So this gives us a um, zoom in onto the contents of a particular policy. So as you can see the policy has a list of all the domain names that um, are in the policy. So this is the uh, policy in itself and the tool also lets us do a resolve query on the local DNS server. So I can just pick an uh, DNS from this policy and run it on my local server and it this will ensure that the policy is verified. So as you can see here the DNS operation is refused. So since the policy had a de deny operation uh, this was the response that I should be getting. So this is one of the other uh, modes that we have in D get DNS tool and there are a few other things like I can do a remove if I want to remove a specific DNS policy or I can do a remove all if I want to remove all the policies um, which InfoBlox has created. So any policy DNS policy name which starts with iBlocks is the one which is removed. So that's how the uh, utility works and um, yeah, primarily you can use the utility to run a number of tests as well as verify the progress of um, the scheduled tasks.